everyone, welcome to homerecordingmadeeasy.com, visionrecordingstudios.com, and here on my YouTube channel. And today is going to be a quick video. I'm going to try to answer uh, this question that comes up um, quite frequently. And um, some of the newbies with Studio One get confused on how to move files around and make sure we're not missing files and relocating files, so on and so forth. And uh, I answer this, um, I answer these in email format quite a bit. So I figured I would just do a quick video and show you the easiest way to move um, your project from one hard drive to another without losing losing any of the files. So um, a lot of times what will happen is um, after folks watch some of my Made Easy or Quick Mix, mix products, they, um, they'll they write me an email and say, you know, I see in your products that you recommend that I run my Studio One session from an external driver from a secondary hard drive that's different from the hard drive that has my operating system on it and the Studio One application and, or any DAW for that matter. And the answer to that question is yes, I recommend that you do that um, for a, really for one main reason, because over time, as you as you create more and more song files and you do more and more projects, you're going to chew up a lot of valuable hard drive space. And it, the, the computer will run more efficiently if you run those song files from an external drive or a secondary drive different from the operating system and the Studio One application, if that makes sense. Um, but up to this point, a lot of folks will just run it off the same drive. Then they hear, read about, or uh, hear from me through my training that you should move the files and they get confused on how to do that and how to do it without screwing everything up. So I want to show you how to do that today quickly. Okay, so here's the Studio One Start page, obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up um, a song and we're going to open it up. Uh, I located it on my desktop uh, for this demonstration. So let's, so you can see that on my desktop, I have a Studio One session file with all the media that goes along with it and all the cache uh, images that go along with that song. Okay. Now the one thing that you need to remember is whenever you're dealing with, and this goes really for any DAW, but for especially for Studio One, because um, this is where this question comes up the most, Studio One users. When you want to copy or move your session file, the Studio One session file, and you want to move it to a different hard drive, you cannot just delete, or excuse me, you cannot just copy this file here and move it without taking the media folder and the cache folder. You have to take all three of these files. You got to take these two folders and this song file, okay? Because when you open up this song file, the audio that's in this song file is the media folder. All the WAV files that are in the media folder, that is what's in this song file. All the images to those waveforms, all the events that you see on the edX screen, those are all the images. Okay, so if you don't grab all three of these elements and move them to the secondary drive, when you go to open this song file again, it's going to be looking for this media folder to be in the same directory. And if it's not, it's going to come up as missing files. And if anyone's had that happen where you thought you copied and moved something and you went to open up the session again, it says it can't find all the audio. That is, that's why, because you didn't grab everything. Okay. So let's just open this from the desktop to kind of, um, to kind of simulate what, what most, a lot of people will do when they're running it off the same drive as their OS. Okay, so here's the session again. We opened it, for, opened it from my desktop. Now, if you want to move this to a secondary drive, whether it's an external USB drive or a Thunderbolt drive or an internal hard drive, regardless if you're on a Mac or PC, the easiest way to do this to ensure that you, you get all the files and you get everything proper without screwing it up is just come up to File and go to Save to New Folder. Okay, Save to New Folder is going to make an absolute duplicate of these three elements that we just spoke about. Okay, so let's choose our external drive. So here's my vision uh, RAID drive. Here's a, here's a secondary drive. And for now, I'm just going to put it here. You could create a new folder for that if you'd like, or you can, you don't have to, but let's just create a new folder and let's call this test for now. Okay, so now what's going to happen is it's going to copy the song file. When I hit save, it's going to copy the media folder and the, um, the cache folder. So let's go ahead and save that. And you can see it's making a copy of all the audio that's in the session doesn't take very long. Okay. And now what is in front of you is the new session that is saved on the external or secondary drive. Okay. And I can prove that. Let me close this. So I'll close this one session. Okay. If I minimize this and go out to that vision drive and go to the test folder, you'll see here's the song file. Here's the media. And here's the cache with all the images. Okay. So now if I try to open this up from the external heart, from the secondary drive, it will open and everything will be there. Give it a second. Cause there's some plugins that are loaded up on this. 
Okay, and there it is. So now, once you've seen that it's there, okay, we have audio. Now, in theory, what you can do is you can minimize this and you can go back to your desktop. And here is that folder right here, the original that I opened. And you can just move this to the trash and get rid of it so you don't have a duplicate if you want to, okay? But before you do, do that, I would recommend that you open up the session from the external drive or the secondary drive. So I can just move this to the trash and now I took it off my main hard drive and now the only place that it resides is on the new secondary drive, okay? So that is the easiest way to do this without screwing it up and, and missing files. If you don't wanna do it that way, that's the quickest way to do it. Let's close this for a second. I'll minimize Studio One. Let's take that folder out of the trash here put it back on the desktop where it was. Okay, and you can see, again, the song file, the media file, the cache file. Okay, all the media is in there. And the cache, you'll see an images folder with all the images. What you can do, if you wanna do it another way, is you can just take these three files, highlight them, right click, copy three items on a Mac, where it's Control C on, on a PC, and then you can go out to the secondary drive. Here's my test folder. I can just, I'll just put it out here and I can just say paste three items. Okay, that's another way to do it. But now they're not, you know, they're not in its own nice little tidy folder, which I guess you can create. You can always right click, create a new folder, test one, and then I can just do this and just drag them in here. Okay, and now all the files are nice and tidy. They're all in its place and you can go ahead and you can open it from that secondary drive and everything will open just the way it's supposed to. So here I go, let me open it. And you'll see it open. Okay, and there it is. So that is how you move, the easiest way to move the files two ways, save to new folder or you could do a copy paste. But again, you have to make sure that you take the song file the media folder and the cache folder. Again, if you don't take those three along with it all together in one nice little package, when you try to open, if you just move the song file, which is what, what it, which is mainly the mistake that people make, they just take the Studio One session file, they move that, but they don't bring the media folder along with it. And then when they open up that session file from a different drive, it's missing all the audio files. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. I know that's gonna answer at least a few questions that I've received over the last few weeks. and. That question seems to come up more and more. So I'm sure people will see this in the future and hopefully it'll help a lot of the new Studio One users that are out there. So for more uh, home recording tips, tricks, concepts, techniques, and training, head out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Check out the Made Easy series and the Quick Mix series. And if you want more information on my mixing and mastering services, you can always head out to visionrecordingstudios.com. So until next time, this has been David with homerecordingmadeeasy.com and I will speak to you guys all soon. Take care.